Hi, my name is Enrique and welcome to this tutorial. In this short video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of rows and how you can get started. The first thing that you will see is your dashboard. This is essentially your home for spreadsheets. This is where they will be listed. It's also where you can invite people to join your workspace, where you can create folders, basically where you can manage the, your spreadsheets in that workspace. Now there are three ways to get started. You can either start from a blank spreadsheet, you can import a file directly to rows or browse one of our templates to get started. In this case, let's create a spreadsheet from scratch. What you'll see is that the organization of the spreadsheet is slightly different. So in rows, we organize the spreadsheets in pages and pages contain elements. And so elements are things like tables, pivot tables and charts. And these are composed in a way that a report that you do or an analysis that you do is just going to be a lot more easy to read. Charts are not going to be on top of tables. Everything's going to be well organized inside your spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this table here and get started. There are three big differences compared to a traditional spreadsheet. The first thing are the integrations. So rows connects to more than 50 sources of data so that you can get the data inside the spreadsheet in a few clicks and you can access them here in the data actions. We'll come here, import integration, and now you can see all of these sources here, right? from social media to marketing, to CRMs, to databases. In this case, let's say that I wanna build a report on top of BigQuery. I'll click the action, import the table, and now the wizard is gonna guide me through this experience. I will pick from my projects, from a, data, a demo data set, and now I'm going to import my data. In real time, we're connecting to the source and getting the data back, and now it's here. And now, as you would expect in any other spreadsheet, you can do things like freezing the panes, you can color them, you can even hide the sidebar to give it more room to use the spreadsheet. Now, the row supports all of the traditional formulas like sums, VLOOKUPs, index matches, so you can do all of the calculation and analysis that you would do in any other spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go here and actually format these numbers. So again, you can format this as you would expect. In this case, I'll format this with number of separators to make it easier to read. And I can actually even do this with a quick command using command K or control K. So here I wanna format CTR as a percentage. So I'm gonna do this. And now the cost per clicks and the CPCs and the spend, I'm gonna do that for dollars. Right? And now the table is well formatted and I can start analyzing it. And here comes the second big change, which is our AI analyst. Essentially, you have here a personal data analyst that can help you crunch the numbers of any table that you have. I'm gonna call the analyst and in a few seconds, it will give me a quick update of what this table looks like and a few deep dive analysis. So here, I can see some quick insights. And if I wanna understand a little bit better what's happening in the campaign, let's say overall performance by date, I can come here, insert a table and you will insert a table right there. So you see, now has per date, impressions, clicks, add to cart. So it's gonna quickly summarize my data set here. If I want to create a chart, I can just come here and say I want a chart of the impressions, insert, chart, and it just created a chart here that you see it's not really formatted correctly yet. But I can come here to my chart editor and says treat labels as text, and I can also do more. I can add a description here or a footnote saying, for example, you know, the source of this is BigQuery, and the description saying you know, the day with the most impressions was you know, first of December, right? And now this chart is formatted. I'm also gonna give it a name, impressions by date. And now I can make use of this organization of the spreadsheet to actually make it look different. So I don't need this table at the top. I'm going to delete this. And now I want to actually have this above. So I want first the chart, then the pivot table, and I'm gonna color it here. So I'm just gonna format it here. And then I want the whole data set that comes from BigQuery, right? Now, if I want to run this as a recurrent analysis, I can also do that. I can come here, edit my data table. I can configure which columns I want, which columns might not be needed. And I can also schedule a refresh here. I'm going to head and do this, refresh this every day. And now what happens is I have an automation running. So tomorrow, this will refresh the data. If there's new data, it will update my analysis and it will also update my chart. Right? So the way that you transform data is also quite different in rows. And then there's a third layer, which is sharing. So you can use here the share panel and of course I can invite people to collaborate or to see the spreadsheet. I can also share them with a link. And when I share them with a the link, they are prompt with something that looks a lot more like a dashboard and less like a spreadsheet. So there are no formulas, no format bars, they cannot break anything. It's a much better experience to consume and to see this spreadsheet. 
one really cool thing that I can do is let's say that now I want to move part of this report to my Notion document, for example, or to my wiki, and I want to embed parts of this. I can do this as well. So I'll come here, click to embed, and I will simply copy the URL here and I'll paste it in an empty page in Notion. And you will see that in a couple of seconds, I'll have a direct connection you see here, responsive, direct connection between my spreadsheet and my Notion document. And now if for some reason, let's say that the data changes, right? So now I'm gonna just change the name of the impressions. It updated this chart and it also updated the chart on Notion. So all of this is connected and you can now build immersive interactive reports or calculators or analysis on top of the spreadsheet. The easiest way to get started is either through creating a new spreadsheet, coming through one of our templates, which are these pre-built spreadsheets that you can use, or just browsing through the community and seeing what other things, what are the cool things that people build building on top of Rose. And this is essentially it. So Rose is the simplest way to import, transform and share data in a spreadsheet. We have a lot of documentation available. For deep dive guides and tutorials, you can always come here, go to our documentation and just browse through everything that we have to help you make a success out of Rose. So thank you so much and good luck.